Ripple editing is a great way to edit your videos when you have a busy timeline. What ripple editing does is it keeps a sync between the clip you're modifying with all the other audio and video clips on your timeline. When you insert or delete a clip or move the in and out points of a clip, all remaining clips shift accordingly to keep the project in sync. Let me demonstrate this using an example. As you can see here, we have a busy timeline. This is a slideshow of some exotic birds. This is our regular video track containing all the bird images. Right below we have our overlay track 1 which contains some more clips and effects. And then on the title track we have a couple of titles which are synchronized with the slides. For example, the second title is on the cockatoo image. And finally, We've included a background score in the audio track to set the mood for our project and we wanted this music to begin at slide number 4. So far so good. Now what if we want to insert this parrot image in between clips 3 and 4? Let's see what happens. So what happened is that none of the clips on the other tracks moved. Now our cockatoo title is on the wrong bird. Also, our music is out of sync. So how do we fix this? Well, we can fix this by using ripple editing. So first, let's undo what we just did. Let's go back to the birds folder. So this is the ripple editing icon and you can toggle on and off by clicking on it. When it turns blue, it's on, and when it turns gold, it's off. Another way to enable ripple editing is to use the arrow and then click on Enable. An important thing to remember is that you must enable ripple editing for all the tracks that you want synchronized. Just click on the blue squares to turn them on. The second way is to use the menu. As you can see, all tracks are now enabled. Now that ripple editing is on, let's go ahead and drag the parrot between the third and the fourth clip again. This time, everything moved in sync. The cockatoo title is on the correct slide and so is the music. Now if we increase the duration of the second slide, once again, everything moves in sync. The same thing happens when you delete a clip. The point I'm trying to make is that ripple editing works with all types of edits such as insert, delete, trims, etc. And this is a great time saver when you have a large project. Well, that's about it for ripple editing. And this brings us to the end of our presentation.